We ended the episode yesterday with bullshit. Now we starting the episode again today with bullshit, Billy and Phyllis. If these two don't cook getting these goddamn long ass storyline like somebody wanna sit here and watch these two old biddies up here having sex, relatives up here having sex by marriage, that is nasty. Don't nobody wanna see that. And Hillary got her plan by telling Jack about this kidnapping thing of my jig. Now, um, Jack died not getting in the, um, Neil last died not giving him a once over. And Navon, that's your bitch. You got to love that pit boy. You married her. We just got to deal with her. But that's your pit boy. You enjoy that. And look at this ungrateful helper. Besides her keeping the shit quiet, she decides to let it leak. And now she think that that make her look good. That she told Neil about, told Jack about the Neil kidnapping thing. You're an ungrateful old helper, Hillary. If I was Neil, but I'd make a draw to put your ass back in the coma in two seconds. Because you're an ungrateful old helper. That man brought you out of the coma, even though he did do it illegally with Neil, with Neil kidnapping you. You ought to at least show a little bit of respect and be a little bit grateful to that man that he brought your tired ass out that damn coma. But I see that don't mean shit to you, your life, that that man bring you lie back into your body, just as long as you get a one-up on everybody, huh? Girl, I hope you learn your lesson before it's too late for your life. Because as of now, you, you still learning. You young, dumb, and trying to get on top by any way possible. You know what, Hillary? You might be the victim. You not. You messy ass helper. But guess what? They can accuse you of it too. Because like they was covering up. So was your ass. So you better listen to them and shut the fuck up. You can't be implemented to your little tired helper. They can take you away, victim or non-victim. Because they can say you helped conspire to cover that bullshit up. So why you up there trying to get into somebody's ass about that? It can get loud and it's going to get louder. You better listen to them they can get your ass too because you ain't no victim. All because you fell off a clip. You been covering that shit for years too. All y'all feel to go down, including you too, Hillary. Why you sitting there talking about some you the victim? Yeah, you like playing that victim shit. Too bad you don't act like no fucking victim. You act like a messy... You don't act like no victim, little girl. You know what? This tired heifer got a big-ass smile on her face and enjoying every minute of this. <laughs> The think about it, little girl, if they all don't go to jail, you the one going to be losing. Like Ashley just told you, your ass going to go back in a coma. You you finna lose your money, Devon. You finna lose your family. Your, you, girl, you finna lose a lot of stuff. If I was you, I'd try to wind this on down somewhere, wind Jack down somewhere. While you something there smiling and enjoying all this picking and bragging. Cause it's, it's gonna go rough for you. Cause then we ain't got to worry about you no more. Cause you gonna be in the coma dead. So, and of course Hillary didn't tell him all the important details. How Neil wanted to turn himself in. How Devon was gonna turn him in. How this bitch came around out of blue. No, don't do that. Don't bring your brother arrested. Oh now, oh look, I got the conveniently got this little car that I can use anytime I want to. Okay, Neil, you ain't doing what I want. Blackmailing you, I'm throwing that card in. Yeah, it's amazing how she tells the part she want to tell and don't want to tell. Like how she been holding that ace of spade for all this time now. And she want to pull it out when she want to cut somebody's cards. And when she want to cut a card and get her way. Yeah, it's a matter. Yeah, we know that bitch ain't tell him all that. Of course she didn't. Because she would have looked even dumber than she looked it now. And she would have told him she been blackmailing all them this whole entire time. Of course she didn't tell it all. And of course, the town idiot and tort idiot had to introduce Billy to Victoria's new thing. Why must y'all introduce Billy to his new... Y'all really getting no money out there. I'm nervous with this Billy Victoria bullshit. Clearly, y'all can't see that shit ain't working and they, not, they don't like each other no more. 
Now I must Billy meet her new man. How is that in that Billy damn business? Billy to Billy fucking feel it at the moment. Why the fuck would he care who Victoria fucking? And I ain't. But y'all two idiots had to do it though, didn't you? You couldn't help yourself, now could you? Oh, you just had to tell him the whole story like right, Hillary. Cause the line in or telling a false lie when it got you nowhere. You just figure, oh, I look, I'm trapped, so let me tell him the whole truth. Come on now, Hillary. You been lying and scheming and blackmailing these whole couple of months now. And you mean to tell me you couldn't keep on doing it? But no, you just had to come clean with Jack, though, huh? Girl, get the fuck out of here. Oh, really, Devon? It took you down there long enough. Oh, now you see what Devon, now you seeing what Lily and Neil, all of them seeing now. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. She don't want you no more. She got her eyes on Jack now. Too bad that's your loss. So if she cheat on you with Jack, no, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just going to sit back in this lab. Because that's how y'all did, Neil, so why not get it back to you? So, and I don't feel sorry for you now that you see this crazy help in her natural light now. Now you see what everybody else sees. So don't feel bad. Don't No, no. You married that monster, so now you enjoy your monster. Well, then, it was nice to see you outside in the public, not then the lights in the buildings now. Yeah, go on, turn yourself in. Maybe you will save everybody else from getting in trouble. Yeah, you need to go do that. Your ass should have did that for the jump beside listening to dumbass Hillary letting you get you in more trouble and everybody else included. You should have been done that, but I'm glad you got brain cells now to go do it. Maybe you can stop this ripple effect that's going to have everybody arrested. Yeah, go ahead and do it now, Neil. <laughs> Ashley, Christine making an example out of somebody. Oh, okay. That was fun. I just had to get... <laughs> Ashley, you're funny. <laughs> Ooh, Christine making an example out of somebody. Oh, okay. I didn't know she can do that, but okay. Devon, you don't know her for McKenna or still. I'm just glad you finally opening your eyes up to this bitch. Cause this bitch gonna get you in a roll of her. Devon, you better get on up for she cheat on you, buddy. Cause next she realized you don't love her next and her knit her back get against that wall again. Hell she might try to sleep with Jack. Try to sleep with Jack this to make your ass jealous. So if I was you, Devon, I'd wrap my money up now. Put it in an offshore banking account and get a divorce from this tired heifer. But she end up trying to take your clothes, your money, your shoes, and everything else that's not attached to the damn flow. Endless ambition from being in a coma. Don't no motherfucker act like that that been in a coma. Order that. No, honey. No, Devon. No, you were just stupid. Just admit you were stupid. Just sat with me. You were stupid to trust this heifer and was stupid enough to defend her when your fella was trying to tell you something. Just that minute, Devon, you were stupid. Say it with me now. I was stupid for love. What I called love. So, this heifer so goddamn weak, she can't even defend herself. Wow. So now you blaming this on me? I'm the victim. Girl... That victim card been gone, lost, stolen, in or damaged a long, long time ago. And that's your defense. You the victim. No, bitch. Everybody fit to go jail because of your big ass mouth. And you know you ain't gonna give a fuck about none of them that's fit to go to jail. So you can save that shit, um, Hillary. Your ass enjoyed every last minute of this. And then your little weak ass defense. You the victim, girl. Okay, Vic. Okay. Mm hmm. We gonna run with that. Oh. So Phyllis decided to call Jack in Montreal and see what he was doing because she had two missed calls. Girl. Yeah, you was too busy having fun with, with, with your brother-in-law that you ain't known that your husband called you two times. Mm -hmm. Don't leave now. The weekend just getting started. So Jack needs you, Phyllis. But you going to stay this one last night with him, though. That's where you can go home to Jack. Really, Phyllis?
Really? You just can't leave him alone long enough to go check on your husband, huh? Do you even love Jack? Feel this. Just a quick question. Because I'm going to think you don't. Because you don't give a fuck about that man. That any number of why I would have been fuck this. I'm going to go home to my husband. Not you. You need to waste your time. You want to stay one last night with Billy. Okay. We see where your priorities are. And they fucked up. Watch you. Any meeny miny mo. Hillary ain't done blackmail and not none of them. Even if this do come out or I don't somehow get covered up somehow or another one. Watch, watch my words now. Hillary gonna try to blackmail the Vaughn and the stick of her stay married to her. How much you wanna bet? Hillary not done with the Vaughn yet. She better try to suck him dry now. Now that she realizes it's over, she gonna try to make that man blackmail that man and stand in that marriage with her. How much I wanna bet? Victim card, sympathy card, and Jack will be there for you. Here it go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you realize you alone now. Congratulations. You should have been doing what you was doing, and maybe you wouldn't be alone. And Jack was your only last hope while you didn't throw him out your room, hollering and acting like a maniac, showing your black ass, showing your natural black ass there to that man that was there for you. Yeah, she better come out the Vaughn, the Vaughn. Can't say I can't feel sorry for you, cause you put yourself in that book when you put a ring on that tired half a hand. So whatever better happen than you won't happen, and I'm just gonna sit back. I'ma try not to gloat too goddamn hard. So Jack silly ass calling her. She snuck down smiling. Here it go, y'all. New game. Let's play a game like we like to call Hillary. Some new stunt she got fit to go on. Well, y'all, that was the episode. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think about today's episode. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.